Hello guys and welcome to this installment of Software Sunday. Today we are going to be taking a look at a personal favorite of mine. You guys are looking at Universal USB Installer from PendriveLinux.com. Basically this little application is going to allow you to turn any OS ISO into a bootable flash drive image. It's free, uh, really easy to use, and it's actually really, really small. Uh, I'm going to do two demonstrations in this video, one with Windows 10 and one with Ubuntu 16.04. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the whole process of getting this up and running is only going to take a matter of minutes. So I'm going to navigate to my web browser, hit up Google Chrome. We're going to go to Google and type in universal USB installer. And as you can see, I had that already typed in because I was trying to find the proper search term for it. And that is the proper search term. Now, of course, I will also put the link to the software in the description so you guys don't have to go hunting through search engines. So we're going to click on the first link that pops up. Um, this is an ad right here. Please don't fall for that. Now we are going to scroll down and there is going to be a nice blue download button. This is the legit download button. Go ahead and download the USB installer. You can see that it's downloading now in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna to navigate to my computer, go to downloads. As you can see, it's sitting in uh, our downloads folder as an executable. Just go ahead and run it, allow it access, and there you go. It is now up and running. And of course, before this, you should have your uh, external device already plugged into your computer, ready to go. And as you can see, I actually already used the universal USB installer to install Windows to it. Uh, and actually, I believe this is actually Windows 7. So I lied earlier. We are going to be using Windows 7 and Ubuntu 16.04 for the demo. So I'm going to go ahead and hit I agree right here. Um, select the Linux distribution. Now you're like, whoa, wait. Windows is not a Linux distribution. Well, <laughs> don't worry. If you scroll all the way down, we do have options for Windows right here. So I'm going to click on Windows 7 installer, browse my ISO. My ISO is on the desktop. So we're going to click on the Windows 7 professional ISO letter of the USB drive. It's drive G and we are going to want to format drive G. Now, uh, if for some reason your USB device isn't showing up on this list, go ahead and hit show all drives and that should give you the ability to find uh, your USB device. As you can see, uh, mine shows up without having to click that. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is and I'm just going to hit create. Yes, and that's all there is. That, that's how easy it is. Now, all you have to do is sit back, relax and wait for it to finish. As you guys can see, the installation process has completed and at this point I can go ahead and pull this flash drive out, plug it into my T10 which I have sitting right in front of me and boot up into Windows. So I'm just going to power it on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, man, you're not going to power on when I'm filling. Why are you doing that for? Don't do this to me, ThinkPad. All right, and we should be booting into Windows in just a matter of seconds. Let it find the USB device first. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There we go, it found it. And as you can see, we are now loading Windows off the USB flash drive right there. And that image was created by the Universal USB installer. So I'm not really sure how much of this I wanna actually show you guys. I mean, it's obvious that it is working now. Um, and in just a second or two, we should start to loading into the GUI. There we go. Unfortunately, I used the world's slowest flash drive for this. Um, I'm currently using my uh, portable hard drive for something else, um, so I have to use a flash drive and all my flash drives are just incredibly slow. Uh, but as you can see, we booted up into the GUI and now from this point, it's going to walk us through the installation process, but I'm not gonna go through the installation process because one, that's gonna take a very long time. And two, there is not a hard drive installed in this system or actually it's on the other side. That's the hard drive base, so no hard drive in here. Um, so that's it for the Windows 7 installation. Well, let's go ahead 
and move over to Ubuntu. Now with Ubuntu 16.04, the process is nearly identical. So I went ahead and plugged in our 128 gigabyte USB flash drive. I opened up the universal USB installer, hit agree again. Uh, we're gonna drop down a Linux distro and this time we're going to go with Ubuntu, which is the first one on the list. We're going to find our ISO, which is in the desktop directory. And we're gonna scroll down Click on the Ubuntu 16.04 ISO, uh, select our flash drive, format it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to make a uh, persistent file size just because this is really just for demo purposes, but you can if you like. It goes all the way up to 4 gigs, I think. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it at 0 for this demonstration, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. The Ubuntu installation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and remove the flash drive just like last time and plug it into my ThinkPad T10. And we're gonna go through the exact same procedure. Then give it a couple seconds. There we go. It's going to detect the flash drive as our boot device now and hopefully boot up into a live environment of Ubuntu 16.04. Don't fail me now. Yes, there we go. So we are now booting off that uh, live image on the flash drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here because it's probably gonna take a little bit to boot into the desktop. And that is Ubuntu running off the live USB flash drive. This is such a small tool, but it packs such a big punch. It's under two megabytes, but it supports so many different operating systems. As you can see, the list just goes on and on. Um, it also supports some various utilities as well, such as Clonezilla um, and D-Ban right here. I mean, I'm just gonna scroll down this list and you can see that I mean, the list is nearly endless. Look at all those images that this thing supports. It's just absolutely crazy. So once again, the link to this will be in the description. Uh, super easy to use. When you have a fast USB device, it's actually really fast to uh, write images um, to a USB flash drive or USB hard disk. Um, the SanDisk uh, flash drive that I was using was particularly slow, but when I was using a USB solid state drive, it took only a matter of minutes to write the device uh, to the solid state drive. So that's gonna be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. Uh, you can also you can also support me by checking out my Patreon. And I think that is about it. Nope. Of course, I always forget this every single time. Uh, but don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.